Well, it is officially starting to look like winter here, and it hasn't for the past several weeks. His name is Ashley Bailey. He's out of Louisiana, Forest Hill, Louisiana, actually. We're gonna hop up in this thing, and uh, he's gonna have an identical twin to my personal truck. This is my personal truck. It's a Ram 1500, and we tried to build this truck identical. But we're gonna give him a call and get his reaction, and hopefully he is stoked about this thing, because I'll be honest, it's been one of my most enjoyable trucks to daily drive for the two weeks give or take that I daily drove it before I started daily driving the third gen that we now have up for grabs. LMPgear.com to get entered to win that third gen. Uh, link in description to the website. Guys, it's this simple. Go to LMPgear.com or to the app, place an order and you're automatically entered into the giveaway. And right now, 15 times bonus entries are live. And if you see our emails or the text that we send out, we do have a special discount opportunity for you in the email as well. So definitely go check out that bonus. Let's give him a ring. I have not spoken to him at all yet. Hello. Hey, is this the guy? This is, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm assuming you know why I'm calling you at this point, right? White Dodge Cummins? Yes, sir. <laughs> Yeah. How does it feel? I don't know. I'm so skeptical of everything. I, I just don't know, <laughs> but I've got a smile on the face. And, I uh, get it. I get it. I, I mean, seriously, I've never won anything I've entered. I've seen that truck, and I never buy anything. Yeah, like, yeah. I just, I look and I say, oh, you know, I, I'd like to have that. But no, I'm not going to enter the contest or nothing like that. No. You know, something told me, he said, hey, you're going to win that truck. And I'm like, well, maybe God's talking to me. You know, and I said, yeah. I'm going to go for it. So I ended up buying a couple hundred dollars worth of stuff. And I said, well, nothing else. I got some shirts and some hats and stuff. And it's cool. Then I get a call from, from your dad. I mean, I like spent like five or six hours the other night. Because I work nights, so I'm, my sleep schedule is all screwed up. So I was in yeah. the night trying to research, is this a scam? Yeah. <laughs> but it's, that's cool. Am I your first Louisiana winner? I think you are, actually. When he said it was you were from Louisiana, I'm like, I don't think we've had anybody win out of Louisiana before. That's the farthest south in that direction we've had a winner. Hey, I guess you got to get lucky every once in a while. And I've, I've actually been looking for, like, a... 0102 body style for a ride around truck because I got a 19 work truck. Yeah. And I'm putting so many miles on it just to tote my butt around. I'm like, man, you know, I'm, I'm going to wear this extremely overly priced thing out. And uh, so I've been, I've been looking for one, but man, it is hard to find a clean one. I just like that old body style. It looks more like a truck. I just like that older body style. I like. I like that I can work on it too. Right. You know, I can't work on this fifth gen. I mean, this sucker's got so much crap on it where like the third and second gens, I can actually do that, you know? Yeah, for sure. I mean, in my opinion, I mean, they're they're just lower maintenance trucks in general. <laughs> they seem to be more reliable in general. I mean, other than like, yeah, their interior build quality on some of the older models, for the most part, I'm confident I can give somebody a vehicle that's not going to give them issues for a yeah. long time, but if it does, it's usually something very minor in cost. It's not like, you know, like on a 12 valve, I can give away a 12 valve if the guy has to replace injectors in two years, it's 300 bucks. You know, give away a freaking six liter Ford and he needs to put new injectors in, it's like 2,300 bucks. Pick your poison and I just feel like the five nines in general. We do so many of them just because I'm confident they're good vehicles for people. Absolutely. They got half the moving parts inside the motor as a Ford or Chevy. And like you said, the rebuild cost is way less than, than the others. Substantially less. Just so much easier to get to injectors and everything. Everything's on top. Yeah, it's definitely our niche now. It's hard to get out of it. Whenever we do a Ford or anything, people are just kind of like, man, we want another Dodge. I'm like, really? I'm like, we've done so many of these things, but that's just what we're known for now. So we just, we're just kind of trying to own it and run with it. I took up an hour of your time. I don't want to take up any more of it. Congrats again, man. Keep in touch. All right. Sounds good. I appreciate your time. Thank you. Hey, Thank thanks. You. Congrats again. For the opportunity and, yeah. and the win. Dude, absolutely. I'll let you get going and uh, I'll text you right before I get the rental car. That way we, you know, just in case you got any little surprises come up. Absolutely. You know, I appreciate hey. it. Thank yep. You. Talk to you soon. Have a good one. Bye. That was Ashley Bailey out of, he's currently in North Carolina. He's a pipeline welder, I believe. And so he like travels around to different jobs. He travels to different locations. And right now he's in North Carolina, but he is a Louisiana resident. 
and that's where he lives primarily. So super excited, he sounds like a super excited to get the truck. He's getting a second gen and five grand. So super cool, super excited for him. It's pretty freaking cool. Let's just hope that uh, this winter weather doesn't give him any challenges with getting here and getting home because it is nasty out here. And I do believe I am parting ways with my 20 foot rice trailer, 10,000 pound rated. I honestly just don't use it as much as I thought I would. And although I still have my grandfather's tractor back there that I do need to move around at some point. I do have two or three different family members in the area with a little bit better, in, like more ideal trailers that actually have like a full flip down ramp on the back or double pull out ramps or fold down ones that are actually closer together because it is a narrow front end tractor back there. And so that's the only thing that I really would be hauling on a regular basis. And for all the trucks that we usually pick up, they're on like aftermarket wheels and tires and they just don't fit on this trailer anyway. And it's not a drive over. Um, so like to get between those fenders and they're only 82 inches in between, it's just not ideal, it's a pain in the butt. I just think that uh, a different setup would make a lot more sense for us. I don't think we're gonna replace it immediately, but I am gonna be parting ways with this thing in the meantime, because it has sat here literally since we moved here, and it's been eight months, and this thing has not moved one time. Small one, on the other hand, gets used on a very regular basis. And we're live! Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna cold start the third gen. It's probably, been, when did we drive it last? When we filmed those videos is the last time I drove it. Yeah. So, four days, three days, three, three and a half? Three. Anyway, and it's freaking cold out. It's, it's cold, it's not like, oh, I just drove it last night and it's first thing in the morning. I mean, like, it's cold, cold. Not plugged in, There's no cords. I actually haven't plugged it in one time yet. I'm assuming it has a block heater. Yeah. Started that plane, ran plane. Perfect. gonna put a wrap on this magnificent video we did have to slightly sacrifice the yard and the grass under the snow just a little bit but it was worth it um, anyways guys hopefully enjoyed the video hopefully guys like this truck could be yours time's almost up though ends February 12th so get in while you can lmpgear.com and uh, congratulations again to Ashley for winning the 2001 24 valve Cummins plus the five grand I'll catch you guys all in the next video peace